All right, guys. So first attempt on making wooden beads, and you have to move, Lewis. It's gonna be the first board. These are actually scraps, so I should be able to get plenty out of this, and I think this is soft, cheap wood, so we're gonna figure out in a few moments if this thing works out, and if it does, I'm gonna order about 10 more because I'll be making beads forever. So I'll get back to you. Okay, so on first initial, I actually made a bead. It came out pretty well, but um, what I started doing was this thing just started breaking the beads and snatching the beads. So I used the thicker wood. It came out good, but it didn't come out good on this side. So, oops, what I figured out is I thought that by me moving this down further that this would make a difference when it doesn't. This thing is adjusted right to where you need it at because once it goes down too far, it'll just tear the bead up. So I'm gonna move the thing back up and I'm gonna see exactly how I can get it because see, I thought the wood I had, it wasn't thick enough to cut through. So I'm gonna pull this back down and try it and see what comes out. Damn it, I need a drill press. Okay, so this is what I've come up with. So using this thing, I mean, you see, these are like the very first ones I did. That's not perfect, but even if you sanded that, it'll come out pretty decent. Um, one of them I did, that one came out decent. And that one, it sheared the top off. And then this one came out really decent. Now, the problem that I had is that this thing works out really well. Hold on, let me, let me get that one. Set this down for a minute. Just hold on. Don't fear the darkness. All right. All right. So the conclusion that I came up with this thing is you definitely need a drill press for this. You know, I want to just I had to mess around with this with the drill press, you know, what I mean, with my drill. But you definitely need a drill press. Something else I found out is be careful on the distance you push this part out. This is right here. If you push this thing too far out, this thing will just eat up the balls. Yeah, whatever. It'll eat up the wooden balls really easy. Or the spears. Okay, was that better? Because, you know, all these people out here with the messed up heads. And um, it is, uh, I think it's a great piece to have. I think the beads that I made, you know, just like starter ones, where they at? Starter ones, there they are. And it's just kind of, and this wood I have here is going to be practice wood. This is all practice wood. I found this in the trash can, so I'll probably mess messing with it. And I don't even know what kind of wood this is. It's really weird looking, and it's super light. That's why I say I don't know what kind of wood this is. But you could go to the hardware store, and you could just get you some um, scrap wood. But I want to find out more about it because I don't, I need to get another drill bit for this. I don't see that drill bit lasting. This drill bit, it looks like garbage. I mean, this thing came from China. But um, I'm actually going to go to the hardware store and see if they sell something like this. I, I'm surprised they don't. Especially in the wood making aisle. But I'll find out. But just wanted to make a little video on, you know, my start to beads. Because when I start doing this, I'm going to be making beads out of everything. Especially the wood here. So I'll finally be able to make prayer beads out of wood here. Also, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to get me a lathe. And I'm probably going to start making me some, um, wooden bracelets uh big bracelets for me and see these are the ones that i get now but i make these but sooner or later i'll be wearing the ones that i make all right guys later